So hi, I'm CJ. I'm coming from MVP Mobile Arena. We are basically focusing on mobile esports and building the community as well. Uh, hi, I'm Louis. Uh, same as CJ, uh, we are uh, we are focusing on mo- mobile mobile from MVP Arena Mobile Arena. Yep. Hello, saya Master Kukan, uh, one of the caster untuk event Mobile Legend yang berada di MVP Mobile Arena dan juga one of the supporters lah untuk event ni. Yeah. Um, for specific, specifically for mobile engines, right? Currently in Malaysia, uh, to be honest, the biggest market is still uh, Bahasa market. So for this round, we try to cater more Bahasa in this event because previously we done for AOV, we just focus in uh, BI and BC as well. So yeah, and the reception, the turnout wise is actually pretty good. As for this round, we've reached around 200 participants. Yeah, so that's a breakthrough for us. <laughs> Untuk casting uh, as a partner, eh, let's say biasanya kita akan buat duo. And then mostly uh, caster partner yang kita jumpa tu adalah bukan kawan ni. Eh. Kita kenal dekat situ. So, ambil masa sikit untuk mengenali uh, pergerakan cakapan daripada caster. Memang it's a bit hard mula-mula tapi bila kita dah biasa uh, dalam masa satu dua game mungkin kita dah boleh counter kat tapi for this event yang dekat sini <coughs> uh, game yang berlangsung dekat dalam dekat event ni sangat-sangat menarik so untuk untuk serasikan keadaan dua caster tu sangat-sangat mudah lah tapi itulah uh, tadi macam game tadi kita dah tercecah sampai 35 minit saya kehabisan suara tadi <laughs> tapi sangat menarik lah untuk game tu <coughs> Um, for this, I won't say the language. I mean, the language that we we'll say is a language that bring everyone together. It's the positive playing that that's what we're trying to promote because um, there are a lot of cyber bullying. It's happening in, especially in mobile legends. That's bad. If without that, I think the language is a barrier that we gotta cross it because, like, just how we're playing, we have Chinese, we have Malay, we have someone that bananas we can who can only speak English. But they can, they did very, very well. And they just meet like yesterday. This is their second day playing. So, negative playing is the only barrier that stops us from being unified, I would say that. So, but the good thing is uh, for this event that yang the wrong word, individual, individual playing, it means like, siapa yang masuk dalam, walaupun dia bawa team, bila dia main, dia akan main dengan, main dengan random player. So, this is a good thing lah to them uh, for, let's say, for toxic, toxic things ni. Uh, mungkin akan jadi kurang sebab ialah dia main dengan yes. Sebab semain dengan enemy senang cerita tu. <laughs> so once dia enemy jadi dia dia punya team, enemy itu dah tak ada toxic thing tu mungkin boleh kurang lah. Um moving to the other genre currently we don't have that plan yet because we try to focus on in growing our community first in mobile mobile especially especially so right after that maybe next year maybe because not sure because at least there's something that's our core i would say because that's how mvp uh been founded yeah, it's because of the mobile mobile games so yeah Okay, untuk streaming sekarang, uh, dari segi platform yang ada dekat Malaysia sekarang ramai kepada Facebook viewers lah. Macam saya ni adalah streamer daripada YouTube. So, since daripada YouTube, uh, audience pun selalu tak uh, suggestkan untuk stream dekat Facebook. So, for now, dah sebulan, saya pun dah buat stream dekat Facebook dengan YouTube sekali. But, however, walaupun uh, Facebook sambutan cukup tinggi, tapi kat YouTube, untuk saya personal punya YouTube channel, still... Uh, increase the view lah still, still keep increase the view but YouTube, uh, Facebook lambat sikit tapi uh, untuk mobile game majority sekarang streamers yang ada kat Malaysia pasti akan main mobile game even though diorang ni based on daripada Dota ke daripada CSGO ke tapi bila diorang main mobile game diorang punya popularity tu naik serta-merta sebab sekarang Malaysia dah terdedah dengan mobile mobile e-sport ya e-sport memang sebelum ni ada tapi majority semua uh, based on CSGO and Dota 
Tapi bila masuk je mobile games Pada e-sport Dia punya pendedahan cukup tinggi sekarang So untuk streamers sekarang uh, Kalau nak stream Kalau boleh letaklah Itu mobile games At least satu Ada banyak games tapi Pilihlah salah satu Antara games yang ada tu lah Antara top-top games sekarang Of course lah Mobile Legend is number one For mobile But uh, From AOV pun ada uh, And then Free Fire ROS PUBG Mobile And then uh, Fortnite Mobile pun ada Banyak lagi games yang kita boleh main Yes uh, I'm a full time streamer Memang saya uh, Boleh katakan 100% sekarang saya uh, Jadikan stream ni Sebagai satu kerja saya lah yeah. Uh, dah, 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 dah tujuh bulan dah saya start stream Baru tujuh bulan Baru, baru tujuh bulan Nama but baru You know why? But his followers is like Yeah, Chris But semua start daripada YouTube lah Dalam masa uh, dua bulan saya dah cecah 5,000 subscribers Bila dah cecah 5,000 subscribers Kita dah mula baca pergerakan daripada audience Macam mana apa yang orang nak uh, So daripada situ Ambil masa lebih kurang lima bulan tu Saya cecahkan sekarang dah lebih kurang 38,000 39,000 subscribers Dekat uh, YouTube Tapi Facebook masih lagi baru eh. Baru sebulan eh. Jadi dalam masa sebulan pun Saya dah dapat sekarang uh, 8,000 likes <coughs> And then 11,000 followers Yang ada kat Facebook so. okay, Still still slow lagi lah eh. <laughs> Okay so for MVP Mobile Arena um, Our initial direction Is to take care the amateur players so why we want to do that is because um, let's say for mobile legends it just I think last what last week just reached like 10 million downloads so uh, out of that right for, for pro players maybe just one or two percent but how about the amateur players it's like 98% of them why not we taking care of them so for our future direction we will still focus on amateur players but facing the reality we still need to bring in pro players where we have them currently run together instead of those big big tournaments just focus on pro players we need to take care of amateur players as well we need to provide a platform a stage for them to shine out that's what our future direction uh, for the streamers yang baru nak mulakan stream ya yeah, memang betul actually memang ramai sangat PM dekat Facebook, YouTube, Discord semua tempat platform yang ada Instagram pun sama macam mana nak stream, macam mana nak stream Yes, of course, majority daripada mereka yang bertanya tu adalah Menggunakan handphone There's tu ada dua tempat eh, untuk stream sekarang Iaitu uh, PC dan juga handphone Tapi kalau untuk untuk, uh, untuk jadi streamers yang kreatif Better pakai PC Itu yang first So for streaming, kalau nak start stream Yang firstly, dari segi schedule, jadual, attitude Kena jaga Lepas tu, percakapan Bila kita start stream And then kita tengok stream tak beza eh. Kalau kita tengok stream Kita akan luahkan apa yang kita rasa Kita tak akan menjejaskan image kita Kalau jejas pun sekat sikit saja Tapi kalau kita streamers Luahkan perasaan kita Kita punya image tu akan terjejas Dan viewers, followers semua akan jatuh Pasti akan jatuh dan Sebab saya dah alami benda tu sebelum ni eh. So itu adalah satu kesilapan dan pengajaran yang untuk yang baik untuk saya Dan sekarang saya cuba share kepada uh, Kepada mereka-mereka yang cuba untuk stream sekarang Antara, uh, antara Di antara yang perkara yang paling penting adalah konten Konten, macam mana nak dapatkan konten Tengoklah top-top global punya streamers Mostly bolehlah pergi tengok Twitch Jadi yang paling banyak view dekat dalam Twitch Tengok kalau dia punya stream Belajar apa konten yang orang buat Itu salah satu tarikan supaya orang stay kat dalam kita punya stream ha, Itu saja Thank you